In Tiny Round Top, a concert hall draws a huge audience from around the world. The International Festival Institute at Round Top, created by concert pianist James Dick in 1971, attracts headlines for its August to April concerts. In summer, accomplished young artists from many nationalities perform during festival, their scholarships awarding them weeks of intensive study under acclaimed faculty. Festival Hill defies the typical classical music experience. Before the first chord, the audience has been enchanted by architecture in the historic buildings donated and rebuilt on site, and by the landscape rendered from a sun-baked field. And then there are gardens, lavish in fragrance and color. Gardening joined the Festival Hill experience in 1993, when Madeline Hill and her daughter Gwen Barclay arrived. With expertise from their acclaimed Hilltop Herb Farm, Gwen came as food service director, Madeline as garden volunteer. Long-term friends with James Dick, they elaborated his vision with the art of gardening. It shows such unity between environment, between creativity, between people who have a real interest in seeing things transpire, as gardens must, as that proverbial acorn that is planted and then where the great limbs and the great trees grow from is up to man and nature. So and it's a, I think there's a great unity here uh, at Festival Hill to explain and we hope also to inspire all of that. Madeline and Gwen started the gardens with plants and pots they brought from their farm. We took out all the soil that was there because it was just rank weeds, you know, five, six feet tall ragweeds and that sort of thing. And we piled all that soil over in one pile. And after we built the new beds, brought in new soil and built the raised beds and planted them, then this was in uh, probably um, January and February of 94 that we got all that done and planted. Then by spring, we looked at the big pile of dirt that we had piled out there. And I decided that that would be a great place to make a Mediterranean garden. In a lifelong horticultural quest, Madeline devoted one bed to lavender and other silvery plants reputed for their finicky temperament. There's always been this connotation you can't grow lavenders in the Gulf Coast because of humidity. So I've always been, been trying to replicate the Mediterranean area, which is good drainage, and a stone or granite mulch, simply like a scree on top of it. She designed a formal garden within the folly that artisan Jack Finke built out of rubble. With intricate precision, he laid stone upon stone, relying on them to direct his design. Madeline designed the garden in concert with Festival Hill's renewal of the senses. Like James Dick, she challenges the limits of her art, as with her olive tree that is born fruit she pressed into oil. The gardens also provide herbs for the gourmet meals Gwen prepares for the staff, festival, and guests. I've always believed, and I guess I got this from Mother, that if you use fresh herbs in all the food you cook every day, then you get all the nutritive values of them. Besides, it makes the food taste so good. We serve meals during the summer festival, which is six weeks long now, for around 120 to 130 people. People uh, who come for the August to April and when they come for conferences, they are inspired and I think pleased by the gardens that they walk in before and after meals. When Gwen needs rosemary, she selects from over 100 varieties, including one named after Madeline for her discovery and cultivation. A walk through the gardens testifies to Madeline's tenacity to try plants in all situations. I guess because I'm left-handed and a little hard-headed. I mean, people say you just can't do this. There isn't any such thing as no and can't. You have to find out, if you're interested, find out why you can. Madeline's experiments led to a pharmacy garden, a global tribute to plants and their scientific contributions. It 
there's scarcely a plant on earth that isn't used some manner by some culture. Devoted volunteers come weekly to help maintain the gardens and harvest Madeline's knowledge. I've been able to grow a lot of things successfully. I think this is important for other people to know that they can grow them. Volunteers also work with Henry Flowers, garden director since 2002. He joined Madeline after years at the nearby Antique Rose Emporium. I just see it as a great opportunity to uh, spend my knowledge of plants by uh, being here and working with her and working with these plants. Visitors stopped by for tours and Madeline's tutelage. As interest in the gardens grew, Gwen developed herbal seminars in fall and spring. Both of us are natural teachers. I have been known to instruct people in the produce department on how to cook a vegetable that they don't know. <laughs> Festival Hill is both an education and an enrichment of the soul. Gardening and um, horticulture, arboretums where you have collections of trees, and um, architecture, and needlework, foods, all these things are creative. And they, they are creative just like medicine and, mu and music. And of course the music gets the, has always said, we've always put the music up here by itself. It generally requires a specific training, you know, for orchestra playing and that sort of thing. But they're all creative and they all, all blend and they all feed off of each other. Nature, the trees, hills, the forests that are here um, are still here. And they were part of the inspiration of this place. There's no question about it. It just completes the whole picture of relaxation and appreciation. We didn't want to just have another hall, another place where people can go inside a cave to hear whatever they want to hear. But we wanted something that expressed both the exterior, which is very visible, but also to inspire our interior. And I believe that that is what's happening here at Festival Hill. And we have people who come only for the music, who discover there are all these other things. People who come for the gardens, who discover the music. So it's, it's just people's whole psyche is, is nourished. And many times they didn't know they needed it. 